Um, yeah, this is, uh, I got to get this off my chest. I, uh, I had a wonderful day skiing. I'm 76. I got my body where I wanted to despite a tumor, Parkinsonism, nerve damage. I, and I'm going to ski today. I'm going dancing tonight. It's uh, April 20th and I've got great snow conditions. Why am I not enjoying my life? Oh, God help me. Why am I the way I am? Well, I spent 34 years fighting for human rights and so many issues in this country because it's so corrupt. This is Canada. I'm talking about Canada. And and I'm just furious. I, I, I'm, it's just playing on my mind on top of everything else that I have uncovered in the corruption in this godforsaken sewer hole of the planet country. Mortgage fraud is being made legal in Canada. Only in Canada is it being made legal. Now, that's not a joke. But I mean, anybody can put your name on property in secret. Anybody, because my mother had her property stolen and, and we lost everything. And you know, nobody cares. Now, that couple in Brampton, I don't know if they're Hindu, but they're from India. And they had a lot of support from their community. And they got media publicity. I spent 17 years trying to get media publicity to stop the fraud that was going on in, with my mother and, and my brother stealing her properties and, and her income. And I couldn't get anybody to lift a finger to help me. Oh, tush, tush, that's so sad. Oh, yeah. That, that. You know? But anyway, I, I just got to get this off my chest. I can't stand it. Why am I like this? I should have stayed in New York and in the day hell with Canada. Americans said to me, never mind, Trudy. Canadians get the government they deserve. But I'm incapable of, of, of doing that. I'm incapable. Oh, God, why me? But here's the deal, folks. Anybody in Canada can take out a fraudulent mortgage on your home, on any of your properties, and it's in secret. That's the deal. It's in secret. And the bank will hold you responsible. And boom, you're evicted and you're out. Now, there's a couple of cases. I haven't, I'm haven't. i not going to go into the details verbally. At, at some point, I'll settle my jet, settle myself down, and next week I'll put it out on LinkedIn, and I'll do another article, and I'll put in all the names, and I'll put all the evidence, and da, da, da. But, I mean, CTV, when they reported this a couple of weeks back, some mortgage broker woman with... Canada Mortgage or something like that said, oh, title insurance is readily available and any lawyer can uh, uh, put get title uh, protection against mortgage fraud on your on on title on your on your properties, and any lawyer can do it, any insurance broker can do it. It's readily available, and the real estate broker should talk to you about it because, because they know about it. Well, guess what? I have been at this ever since. I can't find one insurance broker in Sudbury, Ontario, or Ontario that, that covers it. Now, my insurance broker said there's a company called Stewart, and I've contacted Stewart and I've had no results, no information, nothing back. And I've, every lawyer I have contacted doesn't do that, didn't know about it, and doesn't know how to go about doing it. Well, I found something online called Plus something or other, but it's only for lawyers. So in other words, if you want it, you got to go to a lawyer. But in Sudbury, you go to a lawyer, they don't know about it, and they don't know how to do it. And if you go to your real estate broker in Sudbury, they've never heard of it either. So how readily available is it? It's not readily available. My God, the, the entire police department of Sudbury is interested in finding out so they can get title insurance, and a whole bunch of people who are friends of mine all want title insurance, and I'm trying to do the research because I happen to be very good at research. I'm like a dog with a dirty bone. I never stop, and I can't find any title insurance for anybody because it's just not readily available, and if Stewart is the company that covers it, well, they're not answering me. I mean, the thing is, is that Two people went to court. 
one in British Columbia, one in Ontario. It cost them almost $100,000 to fight it, but it, but the, the mortgages that had been placed on their properties was in excess of 300000 so it was worth it to them to pay the 100000 And <laughs> they happened to have the money. How many people have that kind of money lying around, okay? They went all the way to the Supreme Court. And the banks... And the Supreme Court finally said, no, the banks are responsible. But the thing is, it wouldn't have happened in the first place if secret filing was banned. Because here's the deal. The mortgage, the, the mortgage company or broker does not have to contact registered owner, doesn't have to search title, doesn't have to confirm that the person who came in to file for the mortgage really is the person who owns the property. They don't have to do any kind of notification. They don't have to send a registered letter notifying registered owners that somebody has applied for a mortgage. Okay, that's not in the law. In the law in Canada, you can file it, don't notify anybody, and it's in secret. The lawyer doesn't have to search title and, regist and, and, and notify the registered owners. They can file it, and it's in secret. Okay? That's the bottom line. It's all being done in secret. So it's being made legal. And nobody's talking about it. I sent out hundreds of emails to every media, coast to coast. I, I'm slapping mud against the wall. I'm starting to send out to people I shouldn't. I just got shit from a woman, manager of extended care at York uh, Nursing Home. I didn't intend to send it to her. Like, I knew she didn't care. But it was an accident. I was just so busy clicking, clicking. And, and I sent out over and over again to our members of parliament and to the Premier of Ontario, and nobody gives a damn. It's just continuing, 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 continuing. This corruption and mortgage fraud is legal because of secret filing. Anybody can do it to you. And here's the thing. some This woman from Mortgage... Canada Mortgage, she said it's readily available. No, it's not readily available. I've been trying, and 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 a, and a policeman I know was retired. He tried for a month. He couldn't find any information at all, and I'm still at it. I mean, unbelievable, and it readily available. My foot, and but the thi oh, I don't know. The thing is, is that if we ban secret filing, you wouldn't have to worry about it. The banks should be held responsible to to confirming and sending out a registered letter to the registered owner that to make sure that the person that they really is real and that it's not fraud but they're not under any obligation to do that because you can file in secret in Canada only in Canada is mortgage fraud legal now if you have a hundred thousand dollars and you take it to Supreme Court the judge will probably find in your favor. That won't get you your $100,000 back, okay? That's not going to change the law. Oh, God. Why did I ever leave New York? Why did I ever come back to this godforsaken country? Americans kept saying to me, Trudy, give it, leave it, forget about it. Canadians get the government they deserve. Oh, what's wrong with me? Why do I keep trying? 34 years I've been at this. Well, no, longer than that, my whole life. Oh, I want to get some sleep. I want to go skiing. I want to go dancing. I want to have fun. I deserve it. And it's playing on my mind. People, wake up. Oh. Stop, 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 Canadians. Listen, listen, listen. It's not a joke. Mortgage fraud is so common in Canada, it's rampant. Anybody can put their name on title to your home in secret. Anybody can sever joint tenancy in secret. And anybody can put a, now on top of that, anybody can put a goddamn mortgage on your home in secret and your properties. And real estate brokers, I got two of them that do care, but they can't do anything about it. I don't have any members of parliament that care. I don't have any politicians that care. 
I don't have the Hindu community or the Christian community or the Buddhist community or anybody out there helping me to ban secret filing and stop all this fraud and property theft and embezzlement of estate funds. Oh, that's a whole other issue. Wills and estate. Um, check my website. You can cover that one. I don't want to talk about that right now. But I'm just, oh, God, give me a break. Brain, stop, stop, stop. I can't just don't know what it's going to take. What's it going to take? Oh, man. Mortgage fraud is legal in Canada. Secret filing is the cause. It must get banned. It's banned in every other country on the planet. Wake up, people. <sighs> I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know. Anyway, had to get that off my chest. Maybe I can get some sleep. <coughs> sewer hole. It's a sewer hole of corruption. And what makes it worse is you're sitting on your apathetic butts and you're doing nothing. Why me? What's wrong with me? Why do I care so much? I don't know. Psychiatrist once asked me that question. I said, I don't know. But I can't sleep and I can't eat if I don't fight. I have to. Something in me from the universe just forces me to. Just disgusting, the corruption. It's disgusting. <laughs> 